Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adia. Thank you for tuning in once again. And if you haven't, please kindly subscribe and enjoy all the tutorials I'll be showing you. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to draft a basic bodice. And in drafting a basic bodice, these are the tools that you'll be needing. Also ensure that you get all the appropriate tools necessary. There are some curves that are needed for the arm or while others might be needed for to draw out the ink. So you need to buy the right tools. After which we start let's start with the class. So the first thing we need to do is to ensure that after you've taken all the measurements, we divide it by half and quarter, which is what you just saw. Make sure you divide the measurement by half and quarter. All the measurements you've taken on from your client's body. So we move ahead and then we start drafting. The first thing we need to do is to ensure that you mark the point O of the individual. In this case, the point O is 3 cm. However, this depends on the individual's body measurement. The next thing we need to do is to mark the shoulder, which is usually 3 cm from point O. After you've marked your shoulder measurements, mark half of your arm O depth that are written on the measurement sheet down there. So the arm O depth might be 22, then you divide it by 2, so that way you get your back measurements. So that's the back line. The third line is the back line. Then the fourth line will be the measurement for the arm O depth. So after having done that, you ensure that you label properly so that you don't forget what you're doing. But when you're used to it, you don't need to label. You're just labeling for the purpose of this part so we can understand what's going on. So, the next thing we need to do is to ensure that we mark our waist. So, after the, the ammo depth, which is where my pencil is now, we mark our waist measurement, which could also be like our half length measurement, or where we measure from the shoulder to the waist measurement. I call it length waist. After you've measured that, you measure your hip measurement. All these things we're measuring is to get line. So everything here will be called line. So the next measurement we're measuring is the hip line. So from the waist, to get your hip line measurement, you measure 22 cm from your waist line down to get your hip line measurement. However, you can measure the individual as body varies, our body measurement varies, but 22 cm is the standard measurement for our waist to hip measurement. So we take our long ruler and then we start connecting from the hip to the end of the paper, the waist to the end of the paper, then the ammo depth to the end of the paper. However, the point O would not get to the end of the paper this should be like probably 15 cm or so then the shoulder should be around 20 cm or so then the bust back line should be like half of the paper this then the next measurement should get to the end of paper all the previous measurements you know the reason why some are longer why some are short later on so I'm going ahead to mark all my measurements, the ones that I need to get to the end of the paper. I want you to know that the end of the paper is actually the front, so I'm going to be drafting the front um, part and the front bodies at the other side of the paper, which is why I'm extending the line from the back line, the waistline, and the hip line. Every other one is short. So, you can see me pointing it out there. So 
So the next thing we need to do is to measure our neck size measurement. In this instance, or depending on your body measurement, I used 7.5 cm measurement and I marked it by 2 cm up. I increased it by 2 cm up. This is to get our neck curve. The next thing to do on the shoulder line will be to mark from the bust line. I'm going to be marking the up back width measurement. So, having divided that by two, you mark it and mark it on the back line also, then mark it on the shoulder line as well, and then you connect it together. Ensure all your lines are straight, please. So, from the bust line, you ensure that you add the armhole for the armhole depth. You need to add some measurement to it, which is usually inclusive of depending on the proportion of the body measurement. So, depending on the size, in this instance, I added a 5.5 cm on the bust line. So what I'm doing next now is marking my cutter hip because I want to connect it to my back line. So remember that I've extended my back line measurements from the half back width. I added 5.5 which is why it's extending to that point. So I'm connecting it now to my hip measurements my cutter hip measurement. I'm sure your lines are straight, please. So you, can, you can be more careful than I am, if you can. So the next thing we need to do is to mark an angle to get the curve of the ammo accurately. So I'm using a 3cm measurement here. So depending on the size, you might need to increase it. Or reduce it, but for this instance, I'm using a 3 cm measurement. So, on the shoulder line, you need to increase it by 2 cm, that is to draw our ammo curve. So, you get out your pattern curve. Please ensure you use the right curve for drawing everything you need. Okay guys, so I sort of lost the clip but after drawing the ammo for the back, I moved to the front, which I just did um, the measurement for the front and all. I could show you another video or teach you one on one if you want to learn more on that on what you need. However, I'm going to continue. So what I'm doing right now is trying to draw the ammo for the front. So. I'm dividing my measurement there by 2 to get the curve. So you can see me making use of my pattern curve. So ensure you use the accurate curve, please. So that would make your work easier, actually. So. Okay, so you need to draw the curve for the neck, the front neck as well. So, 
use the right curve. You can see I'm struggling a bit here. But if you if you are learning afresh, like you're starting to learn afresh, you need to get the right equipment, please. Get the right pattern curve. Don't be like me. So I decided to use my hand there since my curve wasn't doing it. So the next thing I'm doing here will be to measure what I have on the back line. Okay, I'm doing my E line now. So I, I need to ensure that I have the same E line for the front and the back. So I'm connecting. So right now, what I'm doing is um, measuring the true waistline because our waist is actually not straight in front. So the, f the, the, the fatter you are, the more you need to add to the front line. So right now, this is like a size 8 measurement or size 10, I think. So um, I added 1 cm front on the CF. Then 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 on the side seam. So, and then it blends with the CB. So, the next thing I need to do is to ensure that you, since our back line isn't, isn't straight, our back is not straight, and to get that smooth flow of your fabric on your body, you need to mark 2 cm on the waist and then connect it to your back line and then connect it back to your hip line. So I also took 1 cm from the neckline. This is to make it more fitted at the upper part. You might do it, you might decide not to. But it gives the, the bodies a better shape. So right now I'm marking 2 cm on the back side seam for the back and I'm connecting it to the hip and then I marked 1.5 on the side seam for the front and then I'm connecting it to the hip line as well. So this way we have our bodies ready. However, if you want to sew a blouse or a dress that has that we need to continue but if it's a free blouse you can decide to sew it as it is so keep watching so to get the darts for the back you need to measure your half your cutter back actually your cutter back width so when once you've gotten your cutter back width you measure the darts measurements in this instance i'm using 2 cm for the back which i've shared equally and the dart leg for the upper that is like 13 cm that should be based on your preference actually and the down that is um 15 cm 
So I'm going to do the same on the front right now. But consider the fact that the front has breasts. So you need to ensure that you start like 3 cm, 3 to 2, 2 to 3 cm before your bust line, your true bust line. And then you can go ahead with your dart measurement. So I'm using um, a 3 cm dart in front. So I'm connecting it up and I'm connecting it down as well. So that's it guys. I'm labeling it now so you can understand what, what I'm doing. I can show you more of this if you want. You can send me an email if you want me to teach you on a one on one basis. So that way you understand what it is I'm doing. But if you do understand it now, thank you very much for watching and keep watching my channel. Bye.